for the serious gamer. Hey, what up, freaks? It's Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. This is our ultimate Modern Warfare 2 Claymore C4 and Combination Guide, and this is Sub Base. As per usual, we're going to start off with some simple Claymore uh, placements. I don't know why I'm grabbing the bomb. <laughs> it's important that I have the bomb before I show you how to place a Claymore. Yeah, no, not so much. Now, these Claymore placements, obviously not defense. Uh, as my team rushes, or if I'm playing with Spider Bite, um, and when he rushes and some of the other teammates follow him, I usually set up my booby traps on the uh, the back here. And obviously, that's if we're all going to be. You want to set up claymores like that. Uh, not so much cockeyed like that one there, but you get the idea. Place the claymore in the corner there, depending on where you're going. If you're going to rush to A, quickly get here, place the claymore on that side, and then and go back. Now, I don't. Lately, I haven't been using that one uh, when I'm playing. I actually placed, uh, and I believe I'm going to show it right here, on the corner. So if they're coming along the back here, it makes it a little faster, and I'm closer to my team when they're rushing A. The one, the very first one that I showed you is if uh, we're rushing B, and you want to stop them from coming through the center or in the far side where I am right now, all the way on the back. This, again, another very effective one. If I have one-man army, sometimes I'll place both of them there, uh, and only if uh, my teammates are going to actually uh, place a claymore or have claymores when the bomb's planted at A, because quite frankly, I don't trust, uh, you know, if, if the other team's somewhat good and somewhat decent and wipes him out, there's nothing finer than having your claymore uh, kill and kill the last guy if he's trying to defuse the bomb if your whole team got killed. Now, this one here, if you're going to be a sniper and uh, watch or protect A once the bomb's planted, you want to have claymores on to protect yourself so that, you know, at least if someone's coming from the top side here trying to get you, you're going to be able to kill them before uh, they're able to put you in a, give you a dirt nap. Now, we're over on B side, and this is good for, even if you're rushing, again, this is sort of to prevent uh, any defensive players that are uh, rushing as well through the center or the far side and trying to... Uh, you know, flank you guys. So that's a, a good protective one. Also, if uh, for whatever reason you're on defense and you manage to rush in here without, uh, you know, coming across anyone, which isn't, you know, doesn't happen very often, that's also very good protection uh, against them as well. I mean, if you can even kill one or two with claymores when you're placing them, so much better, so much easier to play the game when you eliminate even one or two enemy players. It puts the odds in your favor. Um, if you're going to protect B or if you're going to come up here and uh, snipe, that claymore I just showed you is a good one to, to protect as well. I use this claymore here, actually, not so much on defense, because on defense, this side's not good. They're going to see it if they're coming from the offense spawn side. But if you're on offense and you planted the bomb uh, at B, I like to place the claymores there, because if there are a few stragglers from defense, this is where they're going to actually... I think I was just sort of messing around with uh, different various placements, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, you put one on the corner there, if it doesn't kill them, it allows you to sort of focus your attention on B. If it doesn't kill them, you're going to know that they're they're there. So, you know, that's a good one to place on the corner. If you're on defense, place it on the opposite corner. I'm not sure if I show that one, but... All right, I'm going to show a, a, a different placement of that same claymore. Instead of facing outward, you're going to place it in, and the, it's, the first line is going straight across, and the blast is uh, shaping in. You can see it increases the effectiveness. That one I would actually place more. The other one angled outward is more to give you a, a warning, give you a little pre-warning before they're actually in, because that last one that I just showed you there, uh, and I've shown you the other one inside there too, if you're going to go upstairs and protect, that's more of a defense one. But this one's more of a killing one. The other one's more of a warning uh, claymore. Now you can, if you have uh, balls and you're able to get in here, you can place a claymore. Instead of placing it on that back corner there, if you want to get a little more creative, you can place it on that back area there, like right in this location right here. And that does get me kills because typically on defense, they'll come rushing through to try, you know, if they're coming on this way and they're trying to come back, they're not expecting that claymore right there. And that thing gets me a lot of kills as well. Now, if you're going to snipe on the upper level, uh, on defense, obviously, you, again, you should have claymores on. I know Ace always puts a claymore on here. If you're going to snipe on the upper level here, put a claymore protecting that stairway there. Angle it back so that they can't necessarily see it as they're coming up, 
but you want to angle so that just as they get in there, because it takes them a, a split second to turn the corner. They're not going to see that claymore. It will kill them if they try and come up. I mean, it's dangerous enough sniping up here, but you do want protection in case uh, some offensive player is a tricky little son of a bitch and got up there. So just be aware of that. Now we're going to finish it off with a couple of claymores here. This is mainly, I would show, I would say, on offense. So you plant the bomb. You can use it on defense. I have used it, but that is a great claymore right there. Either way, offense, defense, I typically use it more often on uh Offense plant the bomb there so that they don't normally see that if they come from the stairs or not or whatever Now again, this is offense defense if you're on defense and you want to protect a place it there So you don't have to worry about getting flanked or if you're able to actually your team gets in to plant the bomb at a You place that on the back there and then at least it's protected and it reduces the number of uh, Entryways that you have to actually watch to protect the bomb once it's planted All right on to c4 Try not to put C4 directly on the bomb site. Put it away, and uh, obviously if you're going to place a C4 here, you're going to want to place the bomb right in front of it, and it'll make it more effective. And again, I'm just showing you the opposite side. Uh, typically, we'd place the bomb when we play as NGT. We place the bomb more on this side, not like directly in front of it. So it's a little more makes it a little more sense for you to place the claymore on that side. Uh, and although I show the claymore there, that's not my intention. It is kind of a combination. It will trip it if they've you know somehow avoided that claymore, which usually they don't. Now we're gonna go on to B. Remember, I mean, all of these things here, you can place uh, C4 on bomb sites, but it's never usually a good idea. So get creative. Look for things around like these boxes. Opposite way. I mean, most people, C4 is great that way because they do not typically uh, see the C4, especially if you're creative and you place it on other areas. Just remember, wherever you place it, you want to make sure that the bomb is on that side and that the C4 will... Uh, the blast from the C4 will kill wherever the, the bomb is so that even if they're trying to trick you and trying to defuse it, you, if you're fast enough with the trigger, you should be able to kill them. So use the forklift, use the boxes on the side. This is just quickly showing you uh, an angled use of the C4 so it changes the angle uh, trajectory on it but still uses the forklift. You, you got to get comfortable with uh, placing it quickly on the proper angle. Woo! Combinations. Keep in mind, man, combinations, you don't want to be using combinations unless, like, the first round goes by and some lightweight marathon whore bag uh, was able to sprint by your claymores because, I, well, maybe they weren't placed properly and sometimes they just are able to get by them. So only use combinations if you're encountering players that are able to sort of bypass your, your clays. And this one's very effective as well. Even if they slightly trigger it, like I showed you there, you know, you go up to the top, trigger it, come back down, the explosion will, the secondary explosion from the C4 will kill them. And you can place it a little bit lower down. Usually they do not see it at all. No one has ever shot my C4 on the side uh, on the wall there so don't worry about it even if you think it's visible they don't look on the walls it's not a normal place for them to see uh, oh, c4 or look for c4 and that's really what you want to do you want to do that sort of thing now this claymore has always been a problem for me of people running out either halo jumping or sprinting through like there i just sort of did a little halo jump there and it's a pain in the ass and i got sick and tired of people friggin running by and not getting killed by that so to fix the problem you can actually place a claymore inside, facing outward, uh, what I don't show here, uh, which I mean like throw the, uh, I'm going to show a C4 placement here, but if you put a claymore within the blast radius of that first claymore and then facing outward, the secondary blast will trigger it and it will kill them. The blast radius is awesome on that one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. For more strategies and tactics on Modern Warfare 2, visit nextgentactics.com.